Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at T-Test and ANOVA using Python. Now I've made videos on doing statistical analysis with Python, but what's new in this video is we're going to be using a, a new library. I mean, it's not new, but it's the one I've just discovered called Penguin. And we're going to be exploring T-Test and ANOVA using that particular package rather than what I've used in the past. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn. So we're already inside Jupiter. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a t-test in which we're going to compare the income of different, you know, working classes, professional versus uh, white collar. So we'll do a t-test first, then we'll do a, uh, an ANOVA test where we're going to compare three different groups the income of professional workers, the income of white collar, and the income of blue collar workers. And then we'll do a pairwise comparison to try to see if there's where there's a difference at. So I'm already inside Jupiter, and so I need to just go ahead and load my packages and prepare my data. So I'm just gonna paste it in right here in this first cell. So we're gonna import Panda. We probably don't need that, but we're just gonna do it. We're going to import Penguin. That's where we're going to get our t-tests and ANOVA functions from. And we're also going to be using something called a PI dataset. And we're going to pull a dataset from that library called uh, Duncan. That's right here in the fourth line, if you can see that right here. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then we're just going to display the first five lines. So I press Control Enter, give it a second to think, and there we go. So right here are the first six or so lines of the Duncan package. And so we're looking at type, which is going to be either professional, white collar or blue collar. And we're going to be focusing on income. We're not going to use education or prestige. And what we're going to do is run a t-test to see if there is a difference between the income of workers who are classified as professional and workers who are classified as white collar. So we're going to do that right here. First, we have to set up our data. So we have to kind of subset it and make two temporary little separate places. So what we're doing here in this first line is we're creating a new data, uh, a new, you know, a new object, if you will, called uh, DF underscore pro for professional. And we're pulling everything from our data set. We call our data set originally DF. Everything that has a type equals professor or professional is gonna be in this first little data set, our first object. And then in the second one, df underscore wc, we're pulling all the data for white collar workers. So we're just doing that so that they have to be separate for the purposes of what we're trying to do. Now we're just going to go ahead and use the penguin package here, our library. So penguin.ttest, our x values is going to be income. So, or excuse me, per, you know, professor's professional income and our y value is going to be professional income. And the type of test we're running is two-sided. <clears throat> now in this video, we're not gonna be going over all the details of statistical analysis and what t-test means, et cetera. We're assuming you know this. This is just for people who are looking for how to do this in Python. Now this, this setup is very, very clear. Let me just go back and review it again. Penguin is the name of the library. t-test is the function we're using. And then we have several arguments. The X argument is going to be the income of the professionals. The Y is going to be the income of the, uh, of the white collar workers. So we're comparing those two and it's a two sided test. So we just want to see if there's a difference. We don't care if one is greater or lesser, just is there a difference at all? And so I go ahead and run this. You see the results come really fast. Again, I'm not going to, you know, teach the interpretation, but I can tell you right now that our, our values are not significant. We have a T of 1.06. That should probably probably be greater than two. And we have a p-value of 0.31. That should be less than 0.05. And so also we have a confidence inter interval that includes zero. It should not do that. So all these things indicate that there is no difference in terms of the average salary of people who are, are of a professional type and people who are of a white collar type. And again, if you just use common sense, that's not surprising. You know, accountants and, and lawyers and doctors, 
you know, hey, they all do pretty good there. Um, but this is what we're learning in this particular output here. So there's no difference. The salaries are the same. Now, of course, we could actually calculate the actual group means, but that's not the focus of our video. Our focus is on learning the t-test. So this is the star of the video right here, this little line of code. Now, moving on to ANOVA, again, we're assuming you know what ANOVA is. And so instead of comparing two groups, we can now compare more than two groups. So our coding is a lot easier. We don't have to make any kind of separate uh, objects or, or separate subset data. All we do is penguin.anova. We put in the name of our data. We originally called it df. Then we put in our dependent variable. That is going to be our continuous variable, which for our case is income. And then the between argument, that's our categorical variable, basically. So that's going to be type. So white collar blue collar or professional. Those are the three choices. So we're just going to go here and run this. And there you go. Now the output isn't quite as clear compared to the last one, but I'll help you out a little bit. Some of us might care about the F score, but that's kind of hard to interpret because it kind of moves around. But for our purposes, what we really care about is this P underscore UNC. I'm sure this has some sort of meaning somewhere, but basically this is the P value. And you know, it's much smaller than 0.05. So there is a difference somewhere. Now that difference could be in one of several places. It could be between blue collar and professional. It could be between blue collar and white collar. It could be also between white collar and professional. So there's several different choices there. Maybe I missed some of them. And so once you know that there's a significant test in your ANOVA, you have to do a pairwise comparison. And so, you know, sometimes we call this a Tukey ad hoc test, whatever you want to call it, but we want to find out specifically where the actual difference is between the two groups. So let me go ahead and show you how we do that. Now we're going to do this two ways, one with an adjustment and one without an adjustment. And what I mean by an adjustment, I'm talking about adjusting the P value. So, to make this as simple as possible, if you have a lot of groups, I mean, I can't give you a number, but let's say we had like 20 or 30 different groups, you will want to adjust the p-value because as you start to do multiple uh, pairwise comparisons, you're more and more likely to get a false positive. So that's something to keep in mind. Now this first example is just without an adjustment. So notice carefully, we're still using the Penguin library this time we're using a function called pairwise underscore tests. Most of this is the same. The data, the data set is the same. Dependent variable is the same. The between or the categorical variable is the same. But now we have an argument called p adjust, and we're setting that to none right now. And so now we just go ahead and run this. And so what you can see right here is the output, what is making all the comparisons that are possible. So let's see here. The first comparison is between blue collars and professionals. And I can tell you right now that this is significant. It's much smaller than 0.05. So there's a difference between the income of blue collars and professionals, which makes sense. You know, factory workers generally make less than say, you know, doctors and lawyers, very reasonable. The next comparison is between blue collar workers and white collar workers. And so that is also significant. The P value is smaller than 0.05. And again, now we're comparing, you know, again, factory workers to maybe, you know, clerical workers or something in an office. And then the last comparison is between professionals and white collar workers. This one is not significant. This should look familiar because we ran all these numbers earlier when we, when we did the t-test. So there's no difference between those two salaries. And we already knew this from doing the t-test. So that's kind of how this works. Now for our last one, so let me back up first. So the ANOVA tells us that there's a difference somewhere <clears throat> and then the pairwise comparison tells you exactly where the difference is at. That's what's happening here. And again, we could run the group means and find out what the actual averages are, but that's beyond the video. We're really focused on learning how to do the ANOVA and the t-test using the Penguin library. So the last thing we're going to do is this is just to be thorough is we're going to show you how to do a pairwise comparison with an adjustment. Again, this can be very, very important. 
Um, many researchers have gotten in trouble for manipulating their p-values. So you have to be careful if you're comparing multiple groups, you have to do a, uh, some sort of a p-adjustment. Again, you, it depends on the context and what you're gonna use. <clears throat> for our purposes, we're gonna do a Bonferroni correction so that we can be sure that we're not gonna get any false positives because we just keep running multiple, multiple uh, pairwise comparisons. And again, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with the term p-hacking, this is something you need to be aware of because many prominent researchers, not students, but prominent researchers have gotten in trouble, you know, throughout the past 10, 12, 15 years for manipulating these values. So you, look, you wanna be very, very careful that you don't mess around with your p-values because if people start checking your work, you can really get slammed for that. So everything in our code is the same, except for the p-adjust, we're putting in a, a Bonferroni correction. If you want more information about the Bonferroni correction, that's beyond the scope of this video, but you can always Google it. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. And you can see that our numbers are exactly the same. Now you might be wondering why is that so? And that's because I only have three comparisons. If I was doing, like I said, 10, 20, 15, 30, it would start to make a difference in terms of the actual numbers. But because I have such a small number of groups, it really doesn't matter in this particular context. But again, I only showed you that for the sake of being thorough. So that's essentially it. Uh, we looked at all the different steps needed for doing a t-test, doing ANOVA, and when you do ANOVA, how to do the pairwise comparison when that is necessary. So I want to, again, thank you for watching this video. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Again, thank you so much for your time, and you take care.